How's it going guys? We've got a sneak peek at season five of Cosmic Crucible for you today. We're not going to be doing too crazy with it because uh, sadly I didn't get to place my own defense. So I don't think the teams I'm going to be up against are going to be very meta. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the global rules first. Then we're going to break down all the room rules. And then we're going to hit each room with the superior six to show them in action. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get down to that right now. All right, so let's start by looking at the global room rules. So this is the Spider Hunter tech on defense and offense. Sinister Six characters are getting 200% focus and 15% barrier. You're welcome for there not being 200% resist in there. Your envoys went to bat for you really hard. <laughs> Superior Six characters on successful attack, bury yourself for 15% of max health and remove revive once for each target attacked. On spawn, gain defense up. Remember that they're not going to get defense up next season unless your green goblin has um his awakened passive or i guess that's also to affect uh second sinister six team if you end up using two on defense all characters gain 20 percent max health and 10 percent damage and this is the big thing for me at least after each completed attempt gain a stack of exhaust canceled combats will not add exhaust i don't like that second line because the canceled combat still costs you 400 points uh but i do like that exhaust feature is now here i really really enjoy that all right, so now let's look at each individual room rules, starting with stage one. On defense and offense, striker characters gain on ally turn, assist now. So every single striker will do an assist. So if you have Miss Marvel and the entire rest of the team is strikers, they will all attack that target when she doesn't attack or when any other attacker doesn't attack. All strikers assist, which is really, really strong and really powerful. Temporal shielding on defense and offense, tech and skill characters when basic is used, gain speed up. So we got a lot of tech characters and skill characters in the Superior 16, but we also have Pegasus characters who could definitely benefit from that speed up. Um, I'm not sure if this also carries over to their safety attacks, just their ISO attacks. Uh, that'll be interesting to find out. All right, with speed up at the end of turn, bury yourself for 20% of that character's max health, and then that's it for that room. So that's pretty interesting. I think that kind of reads to be like a Sinister 6 room with the skill and tech in there. Uh, here we go. On defense and offense, ultimate abilities cost two less to use. When using an ultimate ability, spread all negative effects from self to adjacent allies. So that's kind of the opposite of what the butterfly effect was, where you spread good effects. Now we're spreading negative effects. So you got to be careful when you use your ultimate. And you got to be careful when you're what you're setting in here that's going to be using their ultimate when they may be covered in debuffs. All right, spec op. On defense and offense, on successful dodge gain stealth. Characters with stealth gain 20% damage. Very basic, very basic. Mutant immune system. Uh, on defense and offense, mutant characters. On turn, clear all negative effects from self. Heal self for 10% max health for each uh, negative effect cleared. Then all characters on turn end gain defense down. Oh, they end their turn, they gain defense down. I guess unless they have immunity. That's kind of an interesting one. Rules of combat. On defense and offense, villain characters. On successful attack, apply defense down to each target attacked. So multiple uh, hero characters on successful attack apply offense down. So villains doing defense down, heroes doing offense down. Kind of a uh, little canon nod there to how the relationship between heroes and villain works. So those are our room rules, guys. We're going to be doing a like tabled discussion about those room rules in the near future. So look out for that. We'll break them down, talk about possible teams that we could be sliding in there. But for now, let's go and hit these bad boys with our superior six team. All right, before we get too far into it, I want to show you the Superior 6 team we're going to be using. It's kind of a random hodgepodge because I stopped building when I was like, oh, no, wait, I should try and leave them small to see what they could do. Uh, so this is going to be my Superior 6 team. They're all level 95. They're all 5 Red Star, 5 Yellow Star, except for Doc Octopus. Doc Octopus, Gear Tier 16, Goblin 16, Spider Slayer, that dork, is 17, and the other two are 15. If we look at T4s, Doc Ock has everything. Green Goblin has everything. Uh, Spider Slayer, everything but the basic. Uh, same with Lizard. And finally, same with Craven. Of course, we're going to have infographics for all these characters coming out when the patch goes live. Um, but let's get into it. Let's do some CC attacks. Starting with this uh, Gamma team, let's go ahead. we got to make this team for the first time. Um, let's see how big they are because I think they're going to be pretty small. Uh, but we'll see how they uh, play. And I do want to give a quick disclaimer this is going to be the first time I've ever used this team. It's a slight punch up. I'm glad I didn't build them higher because then we would have just been rocking it. Love these splash arts, by the way. They're all dope, this patch. 
think you're gonna enjoy them i don't know if this is an old one or not but really good it's also kind of weird they have a bunch of web warrior ones but it is what it is all right how do we want to play this we get ultimate with clear barrier attack all enemies um safeguard flip pause effects negative effects apply heal block reduce speed bar for all enemies by uh butt load because it repeats twice apply safeguard to all center six okay let's try that let's do the ultimate to start off we're hitting red hulk one time to start off don't really love that but it's okay Oh, that's right. We got the striker room here. We need to be worried about how many strikers does the enemy have? Just She Hulk. Just She Hulk. Okay. Uh, we can attack all enemies, clearing disrupt. We can copy and clear all positive effects from self. Spread all positive effects, excluding stealth, taunt, and regeneration from self to sinister six allies. And then gain taunt. Or attack primary adjacent targets. Do the following flip random, flip another, flip another. If any target is here, so just do support, apply ability block. If this character does not have trauma, Transfer all negative effects from Sinister Six allies to self. Okay, uh, this is kind of not a great opening ability so far. Let's just stay away from hitting the Red Hulk for now. Yeah, I'm not super into all of this so far. Attack primary, flip immunity, apply ability block, chain to four... Okay, so we're going to hit Red Hulk if we do this. Apply offense down for two turns. Increasable. Whoops, I clicked that too quickly. Oh, Increasable hits everybody anyway, so no matter what, we're going to hit. Okay. All right, there comes some assist coming in. Let's summon here. Uh, it looks like we're in really good shape, but for some reason, I'm super scared. Attack all enemies, flip offense up, evade, and speed up if there are any Spider-Verse enemies. Attack those enemies. Apply defense up and deflect. I don't like these. I don't like how we keep hitting Red Hulk. I really don't like how we keep hitting Red Hulk. We'll do it. I... I got to imagine that the team, even on 200k punch, that was designed to be able to auto this, right? Maybe stage one makes it not the case. I don't know. I feel really weird about it right now. It comes a nasty turn me to rewind. That's why we had Lizard hidden over there. Okay, Red Hulk's, uh, Green Hulk's gone. So that's something. We could have saved our ability block from Craven to hit over here. Goblin, when enemies take their turn, is just popping the F off. This is a turn meter rewind, but I'm not sure I want to do that. It's just basic here for now. What does this do? Gain offensive and speed up, barrier, flip, and crucible, apply trauma for two turns. I think we're about to get Red Hulk ulted, but it's not going to matter. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's going to matter. We're going to be able just to get the quick win here. This will end it, but we're going to back out so that we can go do different fights with this team instead. First time playing it. Ugh. Ugh. You know what I mean? Ugh. Let's try them against Unlimited now. I did not save the team, apparently. What was that? Is it Doc Ock? You, 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 you. Save it. Uh, we're now doing a 457,000 punch up into Unlimited. So this one's more interesting um, and this unlimited team is in a, a room that does nothing for them. None of them are skilled. None of them are tech, uh, but we are. So let's see how this goes. This can't be dodged. Throw that. I love the animations on him. Wow. That's really cool. Those animations are really, really cool. I got to say, let's attack everybody. We're not afraid to, uh, just lay into this entire team now. Um, hmm. Will this lay an ability block on Dazzler as well? Okay, it does. It's unavoidable. It does it too. Supporting characters too. Good. I was about to say, like, she's going to clear it if not. All right, there's Goblin doing defense down to everybody just like a boss. We love that. I mean, let's be real. If the team couldn't beat Unlimited, we'd all be laughing hysterically. Oh, I should mention, I have Striker on Lizard, Green Goblin, Raider on Craven, uh, Superior, nope, Spider Slayer, and healer on Doc Ock. I'm not sure if healer on Doc Ock's even necessary. I just kind of have it. Uh, maybe he's a skirmisher. Maybe he can be a uh, raider or something like that. The other characters, they do lots of AOE. You can see I have vulnerables to hidden fur for days. So feeling pretty good about that. Let's take the gambit out. All right. And now on this big punch up, it's just us versus the rogue. And I'm comfortable leaving this one here. Let's go ahead and leave this here. And back out, just in case people start dying to bleed, so we can go do some more matches. Um, oh, here we go. Tangled Web Eternals. This will be kind of interesting. This is a nice little punch-up, too. Little uh, 280k punch-up. 
Um, we get accuracy. Spider Slayer gets accuracy. I don't know if Spider Slayer gives it to the whole team or just himself, though. So we're about to find out. Right away, we get wrecked. All right. But we do have the safeguard to protect us from this Icarus. Um, if we don't have trauma, we suck up all the negative effects with this one. So let's do that. This applies trauma, right? Which one of these applies trauma? If target does not have any positive effects, apply trauma. We got that ability block on the, uh, the Weaver, which is just fantastic. We had energy as well. He's got offense down two bleeds. Let's see if we can make this Icarus just straight up bleed out. That stops his passive. I think Craven's passive is going to kill everybody here, and I'm a little concerned. We didn't even have to summon. Um, we'll just do single target damage here. I'm oh, sorry, that's the AOE one. Weaver's gone. Okay, let's back out. Okay, 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 okay. Sinister Six. I'm probably not playing the abilities right, guys, because I haven't really dove into this team too much. Uh, Sinister Six is probably able to just slaughter all these teams based on this very uninformed testing I'm doing right now um, at, at significant punch-ups. Now, this is actually a punch down into the Wakanda team. I don't even know what, what room this is. Uh, but I imagine this is just death to the team. There we go. We flip the speed-ups into slows. We're going to just go ahead and crush the team now. Now Craven's going to get to go. He's going to put a bunch of bleeds out there. And ability block on the supporting characters, who I think is what, Okoye? Yeah. Uh, that team's going to... That What kind of team's going to die? We got to get out of here. We, we got to get out of here. That team's going to die. All right, so Corrected Power. This was ultimates cost two less. So the Eternals would have been spamming their ultimates. When these are ultimates, spread negative effects. So they would have been spreading their negative effects too. Spec Ops, unsuccessful dodge. Okay, so they should not have been in there. But I also think that room is very iffy. Like, what team does dodge you might want to put in there? I guess Unlimited X-Men with Phantom X for the dodges. It's kind of the only somewhat strong dodging team. Um, we're not going to do the re... I'm not going to waste... Ru I'm not going to waste our time on the rebooth room, guys. That's going to be just a joke. Uh, let's finish this off by doing the Mutant Immune System. This is Dark Hold with Apocalypse. It is not an Awakened Apocalypse. It's not even an Awakened Apocalypse. Uh, mutant characters will heal. All characters get defense down at the end of their turn. Okay. Let's get in there with our Superior 6 team. I'm sorry I couldn't test this on more meaningful teams. We'll be doing that live, I guess. I'm also going to bother them to see if they can let me set like a defense of my own and test against that. Because this is, this is pretty atrocious. But we are seeing the team do some pretty cool things. So that's kind of fun, I guess. All right, so this one, that doesn't give us a speed bar. This gives us a speed bar. So let's get our turn back faster. Uh, like 100% chance Apocalypse retaliates here, right? Because of all the villains. No, I guess not. Oh, that couldn't be counterattack that one. Clear, disrupt, copy, and clear all positive effects from the enemy to self. Spread all positive effects. Uh, sure, let's do that. We're not going to steal the safeguard, I don't think. All right, we got an ability block here. We definitely got to throw that at the Morgan, right? Maybe we could have thrown it at the uh, the Wong. I don't know. We don't want her to be flipping our stuff, though. All right, let's get a summon up. All right, yeah, that was very, very, very annoying. Our crocodile is in trouble. Our crocodile is probably dead. Yeah, he's super dead. Unless those Doc Ock kills are that good. Wong could have taken him out even more there. This one's not looking good for us. Could it have been player error 100%. So let's do this. Does this do the turn meter rewind? It does. All right, so let's see. His three times. That's a really big turn meter rewind on that Apocalypse is great. I think we're going to lose this one. Uh, take this with a grain of salt. <sighs> Do take it with a grain of salt? I don't know. What could I have done differently that would have really changed how Apocalypse just gets all those buffs and everything? Apocalypse of Darkhold shouldn't beat this team. Am I crazy in thinking that? Apocalypse of Darkhold, like Apocalypse with Secret Defenders, maybe should beat this team. Even that is questionable, but Darkhold... I don't know about that. 
Let's do it one more time. We'll see if we can play it differently. Let's pay much more attention to our abilities. So here we go. We'll go back in there with our superior six team. This is it's just a 360k punch up. We have all the right T4s. We have some good amount of ISO on. They're all level three ISO except uh, no Doc Ock's three ISO too. I understand there's a big punching up thing going on here, but I feel like mechanically it should have worked a lot better than it did. So the special we'll gain offense up and speed up. We'll attack. We'll reduce speed bar by 25% to the follow it to the primary target. Flip one, flip all, apply trauma and heal block. And Crucible apply two turns of trauma. If the primary target has safeguard instead, gain offense up and speed up for two turns. Attack the primary target. Reduce speed bar by 25%. Okay. Let's do this on the Morgan to stop her from flipping buffs and to just get some good control on her. We do get two turns of trauma and heal block on her. My green goblin gets immediately targeted after that. My green goblin is going to die here to a Wong attack. This cannot be counterattacked. Okay. Green goblin nearly died. Let's get those debuffs off of him, right? Let's do this special here so we don't hit that apocalypse, I guess. We have ability block. Um, part of me wants to ability block uh, Wong here, not Morgan, so let's do that. We're still stuck behind that apocalypse having safeguard and immunity. It's not very helpful. All right, she's now in stealth, but she still has that ability block due to the trauma, luckily. Let's get a heal up. So right away, notice if this was a big boy apocalypse, that's an instantly dead green goblin when he does his ultimate. But the three over there are so weak that it could just be a power differential here. I don't know. On the off chance they 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 figure out how to get me my own team, I don't want to go build this up to see if it magically works after the fact. Um, it does look like maybe we have the potential to win here still when Shocker does his turn to rewind. Maybe. Uh, if Green Goblin can kill here. Nope, Green Goblin's dead. He's not dead. He's still hanging on. Good for you, Green Goblin. This does hit adjacent, right? No, just primary. Does this hit adjacent? Yes. But he's got so much life now. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Oh, that's not going to do anything. We'll do this just to try and see what kind of damage we can get done. Oh, okay. Green Goblin's dead. I, I'm super disappointed that this isn't working out better. I'm going to chalk it up to me not knowing what I'm doing, hopefully. But mechanically, I felt like we were stuck there for a long time. It could also just be like have a big green goblin and win. I suppose could be the other missing piece here. All right, Doc Ock. You got an ultimate coming, buddy? No. All right. That super bothered me, so I'm going to take another team. Uh, into this this little baby apocalypse dark old team. I'm gonna take Masters of Evil in there. The reason I do that is because I want to see this old Apex uh, Crucible team. If it, because I, I feel like this could win too. Like I feel like this could really win too. I don't know if this lands because the apocalypse stuff. That doesn't land, so we will get hit. Are we not gonna get hit? And she gets ability block. Where did she get the ability block from? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just get the offense, uh, sorry, the slow on her, and then we'll get our speed bar as well. Let's rewind the enemy Wong here. Now let's rewind these guys here. No, let's rewind Wong again. We'll rewind Morgan here. We'll get offense up. We'll punch Morgan. She still has ability block. We'll get a heal off. We'll alt targeting Morgan here so that she dies. You see this, 
I understand that this Masters of Evil team is bigger, but this Masters of Evil team is also two past Crucible teams removed from Green Goblin and the Superior Six. Mechanically, Masters of Evil with the speed bar and all the all the rewinds, all the targeted rewinds, the speed up on spawn, like I, like Superior Six is not a slow team by any stretch of imagination. I feel like I feel like Superior Six should have walked over this one. They didn't, and that that gives me it gives me concern. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Something here is wrong. I'm gonna have a meeting with the developers later today. All the envoys are not just me. Um, and I'll, I'll ask some questions about this. So stay tuned for that. Don't, don't, uh, do, don't, I don't know. Is this what this team is going to be like? Play test footage, subject to change. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.